Hey Roamers, I'm Jamie. I'm Linda. And this is Roaming with Rosie. Today we're in Mesa, Arizona. Over the years it's been a pioneering snowbird, retirement, and baseball focused community. But today it's rapidly changing. Yeah, that's right. Downtown Mesa has also recently evolved into a vibrant place. It's becoming a cultural center full of urban arts, three museums, an international award-winning performing arts center with an amphitheater and plenty of homegrown shops, galleries, and restaurants all over a downtown square mile. And on this episode, we're gonna focus on the public art, public art or street art. Mesa, Arizona is just east of Phoenix, but not at all the same. For almost a century and a half, it has reinvented itself many times as it continues to grow. In 1878, it was founded by Mormon colonists from Salt Lake City, looking for warmer weather and better farming. They named it Mesaville because Mesa comes from the Latin word for table, and it is located on a plateau above the floor of the Valley of the Sun. Later, it became the hub for Major League Baseball's spring training, dubbed the Cactus League. And it still is the home base for the Oakland A's and the Chicago Cubs for 30 days each spring. Snowbirds, people who spend part of the year to come enjoy the weather, bragged about a life picking fresh oranges. And once air conditioning was invented, more and more of those people stayed, and Mesa became a retirement community. In more recent years, it had acquired a reputation as a sleepy place that passed its expiration date long ago. Most cities of the same size these days have a cool, vibrant downtown but many didn't think it was a sustainable plan for Mesa. Now Mesa's reinvented itself again. The focus is on the downtown, locally grown small businesses, education, culture, and the arts. The Mesa Art Center offers a community gathering place in the heart of downtown. The center anchors the Arts and Cultural District in Mesa. It's the largest comprehensive arts campus in the Southwest. The campus holds four theaters, a 5,500 square foot exhibition space, 14 state-of-the-art visual and performing arts studios and classrooms, and multiple public art projects and walks creating an inviting oasis for all of your senses. Now Mesa's reinvented itself again. The focus is on the downtown, locally grown small businesses, education, and the arts. Public art is a major part of the plan and it's impossible to miss.
kinds of new residential units are currently slated for construction or already under construction within a short walk of downtown. One is so focused on art, it's called the Mesa Art Space Lofts and provides living and studio space for 50 artists and their families. Mesa's planning includes these new modern residential spaces as well as the neighborhoods surrounding them. The art and culture of the public areas will shape new community ties. Visually more interesting streets are used more often by people. Along with that, vegetation has the power to humanize cities by attracting people to outdoor activities. Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. Mesa Urban Garden is a community of amazing people and resources. Individuals can rent a plot with everything you need to start growing except your seeds. They even offer classes. The cost is just six to ten dollars a month depending on the size of the plot. But we're focused on the art and this little garden project keeps the themes of art in Mesa. It's literally surrounded by murals. Mesa Urban Garden, known as MUG, M-U-G, partnered with the Mesa Art Center who saw this as an opportunity to bring the community together. The site would ultimately create a sense of place to serve some of their goals for a community's overall health and wellness. Joseph Centroc Perez led this mural creation. He collaborated with students from the local high school visual arts club and together they brought to life this mural. It's an interpretation of the garden scene with a new logo for MUG. The garden's first mural was created by Lauren Lee and Killen Maney to enhance and bring more attention to the Mesa Urban Garden site, which at that time was just a large empty dirt lot. The beds, gardens, trees, water lines, and more were merely a projected goal at that time. This typography-centric mural was done by Lauren Lee. The mural's focus is to reflect the vibrant array of colors of a garden and features the word grow. The gardens are only open to non-members by appointment, so we weren't able to get a close look at some of the murals. We did a little research to be able to share some of this amazing art that we could see over the fence. Phoenix-born artist Thomas Breeze Marcus came to their attention based on his mural art camp work with the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indigenous Community. Central themes discussed for this mural were the reflection of the desert, the mountains, and Breeze's own heritage. Hey Roamers, we hope you enjoyed this video and we'd really appreciate it if you did like it to share it with your friends and family and if you're not yet a subscriber, make sure and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified each time we upload a new video and make sure to leave a comment so you can be part of the conversation. Until next time, see ya. See ya.